Hey guys, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Today I'm making relish. And the cool thing about this relish I'm making is it's made with my mother's chow chow recipe. So this is something that we grew up eating on peas, on cornbread, um, mixing in with chicken salad, mixing in with potato salad. So it's a very versatile recipe. Um, but instead of making chow chow, I'm gonna use this recipe to make my relish. So mom's recipe always called for green tomatoes, onions, cabbage, and peppers. But today I'm gonna substitute cucumbers for my green tomatoes because I have an abundance of cucumbers coming in right now. And some of them are on the larger side. I didn't pick them for a day or so, so they kind of got larger. So they're gonna be a good use for this in the relish. I'm gonna seed the cucumbers and use those to substitute for my tomatoes. You can use whatever you have from your garden. You can use squash, whatever you find for sale at the farmer's market or in the produce aisle of the grocery store. Go ahead and try to substitute with what you have on hand. done getting this stuff ready to use the chopper with. So this is the gadget I picked up at Walmart yesterday to help me chop up all the vegetables for consistent sizes. It's got small grid cube cutter in there right now, but it also has a larger grid cube cutter if you wanted larger pieces. Um, it also comes with the mandolin, a shredder, and I think something that you can make spaghetti noodles with zucchini. So this one is much better made, and I think it's gonna be a lot more durable than the one I had in the past, but the only thing that this one's missing that my other one used to have is my other one used to have measurements, like it would tell me two cups and four cups, but I think this one's gonna last me, so let's get to it. We got a lot of vegetables to get chopped. So I'm gonna take the cucumber pieces that are quarters and just cut them. I'm gonna do another slice, just so they won't be so thick going through the chopper. And I find that it cuts easier if you'll put the skin side down. It'll push it on through the grid, as opposed to if I cut it like that with the skin side up. You see, it kind of gets stuck in there. So, do it with the skin side down and it'll push it through. Oops, Lord of mercy. Hope I don't break it on the first use. That'd be bad. Gives you a nice little workout. Look at that. That didn't take any time to cut those cucumbers up. And a food processor's not gonna give you those consistent cubes. You would think onions would be easier than the cucumbers. They kind of get stuck in here. They do better go in the, put the concave side down. This is how I broke the last one, I think. I need some Jerry the King Lawler elbow action on this thing to get this onion to go through. Showing my age, aren't I? You youngsters don't know who Jerry the King Lawler is. Google it, that's what we grew up to, watching on TV with the five channels we got. Oh, that'll work. The onions are a little bit harder to go through this chopper, so I'm cutting them in smaller pieces. So 
So as I chop everything, I'm just adding it to my number two churn. I don't know about y'all, but anytime I can pull out a churn and use it, it's therapeutic for me. I love using my churns. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some cannon salt on these vegetables and let them sit for a few hours to draw the liquids out of the vegetables. And my churns work great for that. So, love my churns. So, the, the vegetables have been soaking with the salt on them for a couple of hours. And you can see that it's already pulled the water out of them, out of all the chopped cucumbers and onions and peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them and drain them and put them in the pot and get ready to make the relish. I've rinsed the veggies and drained them and they're in the cook pot. Now it's time to add the liquid, which is gonna be water and vinegar and then the spices. So let's get it done and get it cooking. Now it's time to add the apple cider vinegar. That's four cups of apple cider vinegar. And two cups of water. one tablespoon of celery seed, one and a half teaspoons of turmeric, and two tablespoons of mustard seed. Now it's just time to cook it down. Cook it down till all the vegetables are tender. It smells like something's burning. I don't guess there is anything. Oh, and I almost forgot. You gotta add the sugar. Six cups of sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar. I didn't make the recipe, I'm just following it. That's gonna be a lot of relish there. Okay. Now it's time just to just to cook it down till everything's tender. This is how the relish looks after it's been simmering for about 20 minutes. So now it's time to put it in the jars and put it in the water bath. Make sure you check your jars. Make sure there's no chips on the rims of the jars. And I just got my jars out of a hot dishwasher. So they're ready to go. So make sure you wipe your rims down on your drawers before you put the lids on, because you sure don't want to lose any of the relish. Yep, got to get in the habit of doing that with everything you can. Wash the rims down. Because if you get a food particle under the lid, it's not going to seal and it's going to ruin. Okay, I've got them all wiped down. Let's get the rims on them.
Now it's time to put the jars into the hot water bath. And let them boil for about 15 minutes. We'll spread them out a little bit better. Full disclosure, Mama used to skip this step, but I'm following my guidelines in my canning book. It'll help it last longer and help it preserve for longer. All right, now I'll set a timer for 15 minutes. This is Mama's recipe. Don't you love all the stains on it from the years of using it in her kitchen? If y'all got some recipes that you love of your mom's, you love of your grandmother's, y'all get those. Y'all make copies of them. They're treasures. You're going to want them. This is one of my treasures. What you doing, Lou? You want to go outside and play? No, it's too hot, isn't it? Okay. You can hang out with me. Here's the finished product. Isn't it pretty? That chopper does a great job cutting the vegetables into the perfect little size for relish. Sure did make a mess in my kitchen for eight and a half pints of relish, but it is very nice to know what you're eating and to be able to provide it for yourself. So y'all go give it a shot and try to make you some relish. Remember, grow you something to eat and teach your kids, teach your grandkids. We'll see y'all next time.